Okay, we're up on top of the plateau. Still going north. But um, the over here, it's uh, the big valley on top of those rolling hills. Right here is uh, something down there. It's white. I can't tell. Something white down there. Might be for a watershed. But we need to go hike and see what it is. Not today, but I think said later. And then over here is where that dead end road is. It goes up into those hills. And uh, let's see if I can. Big open country. Who are those hills are up in there? Okay, and then right here. This is the road. It's still going north. And then if we go around here, it's all flat. Well, little hills. But, yeah, this is where we're kind of on top of everything. And we'll start going down. up here now so it's about 75 right now okay okay we're, we're at the uh, campground and the sign says Mormon camp Mormon pass camp and uh, right here we got picnic tables and a little Picnic areas. It says day use. Um, but there is a couple people up here camping. I don't think it's going to bother. But look at this. These trees are huge up here. Nice area. It's not too hot. Not too cold. Big trees. Nice. There's a bathroom. <laughs> For your kids to come. You got nice big open spaces to run and play. And you got, there's the sign, Desert Pass Camping and Day Use Area. And we look right here. Thirty-three miles north of Las Vegas. Okay. Now if we look right here. Right there is Peekaboo Canyon. Seventeen miles from Corn Creek. And we've gone all the way up that road. All the way. And right here is Desert Pass. Twenty-one miles from Cor Corn Creek Station. About 6,600 feet. Yeah, it's real nice up here. And we're going to keep going up this road all the way to there. And um, then keep going, and we're going to hit Highway 93 over here. There's no other roads that go this way. So I'm going to have to uh, we'll check out some good sites along the way. And there's a little campground. You got a little camp place here. Looks like two places. Another bathroom. And then this is right here. Ponderosa. And that's the one that I just showed you. Here's the bathroom. 
So we're right here, right now. A little campground here and a little one there. Mormon Well Road. Okay. And then, didn't see much wildlife, but there is some big birds around up here. And this is the Ponderosa. picnic place and nice little area right next to the bathroom that was kind of good for some people and then we walk over here we're just going to walk because my car's got to cool down over here to the other campground there's something interesting the guy was there's a guy up here like kind of watches the place and he didn't want to get on film but right here is the other one A big tree. It's nice. And oh, see, we got another little picnic area. That would be nice to come here and like in the summer and get out of the heat in Vegas it's like 118 hit this year and you come over here it'd be maybe 90 or something but it'd be cooler okay okay we're right down from the picnic area but I saw up on this hill Look, that looks like mine tailings. No road. That's what's weird. But um, today I'm can't hike over there. That looks like the mine that he's at has a big. I can't see any A-frame, but that looks like a mine. And these hills, we're going downhill now, out of the big trees, um, and this mountain keeps going. We're still heading north, so now down here is the. Tiny, um, they call it a seep, but uh, we're gonna stop there. Okay. Okay. We're still in the trees. We're coming down from the campground. Right here is the Mormon Well. Now this one's it's not. They don't use it no more, but. You see, that's where the pipe came in, and they had water in here for the animals, for the cows and stuff. Like I said, this little road um, used to be, goes up to a little tiny spring. Um... People camp here to surprise me. I haven't seen any deer hunters. Kind of in the deer hunt season. 
This says no vehicles. And we're gonna hike up this road and I'll show you the actual little uh, little spring. Okay. Okay. This is an old cow corral. Looks pretty cool. Um, right up on top. Deer trail coming right through the middle. up here somewhere <laughs> Right here is a, another little thing for the cows. At all. There's the pipe. Comes out of the ground. Deer know where the water is. Looks like might be over in here. Hey, we're gonna be going downhill over there. That's a lot of country up in there to be hiking. This looks like there was a fire over there years ago. Little tree. Squirrel just walked by. And this is like a ditch where the water used to come. I think it's all dried out. All dried up, and now it's October. Okay, okay. This is the canyon, and uh, 
We just came from up there. Up there is where the campground is. Way up there. Came down through this canyon. It's really cool, but there's no caves or there's no mostly trees. Nice little drive though. And it comes around. Right here is the little four wheel drive road that I went up. And it goes goes over there to that where it stops. But if you follow this road, it looks like it goes out that canyon, which it does, and then we're gonna probably be we're gonna be down in the flatlands, so these are cool cliffs up there. And once in a while you'll see deer and, and bighorn sheep down in here. I don't see any today. Okay. Okay. We're down. Right there's a the canyon. To uh, I-95, but there was this little four-wheel drive road right here that I saw. I took a detour. There's just a little. It goes up about a mile. Um, yeah, maybe a mile. And then there's it stops right here. truck there's no way but this would be a good spot to hike come up here later hike up in the mountains up in here see what I can see got a lock on it but I think put this thing here. Also, get people out. But there's that big rock right there. And even if you open the gate, that would be. We're going to go through and over this rock. So we're gonna hike up there and see one of these days. Okay. Okay. I saw something kind of cool. Right here by this canyon, we're coming down. And uh, there was a little cave. I thought it was deeper from the road. Can't really see it. But um, it's like an overhang. And there's some stickery cactus. Look at all those things. Those are hurt. Right there's a spider web. But there's this big rock right here. This is the reason I wanted to show you. Kind of cool. Look at that poor tree. There's a pathway right here. This big old pine tree. And the limb has had to grow over the rock. Still alive. But it looks like that might, you know, in a couple years, that might die off, break. Goes up like there. That's pretty interesting. This poor rock, this poor tree had to grow over the rock to keep going. And right next to the cliff. Yep, I'm gonna go under the branch. Yeah, so <laughs> you don't see that very many times. Okay.
okay so kind of a unique thing now over here keep walking there's a uh, My car's right there. It's <laughs> not very far off the road. Okay. Okay. Almost down out of the mountain. Uh, over here. Look at this. This rock has like five or six caves right there. <laughs> and then the roads right there goes down. So it's kind of right by the road. I'm gonna check it out and see. That one looks like an M. That's the only reason. It's a cave. There's that one on the other side too. It looks like a big M. This is a big O. Uh -huh. So let's get up closer. Okay. Okay. We are the Big old. A little bit of a hike. Up over the hill. Whoa. See? A loose rock on the gravel. Uh, I'm just been up in there. And I think it is. It's a bat. You see it hanging? They, oops, they sleep upside down. Hey! Can't tell. Let's see. Back here. Can't tell if it's there or not. It's blurry. Else. There's my car. We're gonna go around. Look at this. There's an actual M cave over here. I'm gonna watch my footing. It's really loose, loose rock up here. Died. It's, it hasn't rained very much this year compared to other years. A lot of these cactuses have died off. Yeah. Another dead one. You can tell because they're brown, they're not green. Mostly green color. Alright. 
Now it's a big M. Kind of a cliff right here. Let's go right here. This got little grip holds that I can hold on to. Expensive camera. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. Okay. <sighs> Need to get a GoPro. But then they don't. You have it on your head and you can't see what you're doing. Okay, this one's just a big opening. Nothing in it. Figures. Then we're gonna go across the opening here. And that foot right there. And leave hole. Put my foot there. Get a foot. And, you know, reach over. Yeah. This one. Oh, damn it. Very went low. And, uh, yep, battery's running out. Okay, this one has, we got animals living in here. See all the shavings? Oh, it goes back up in there. <clears throat> Pine needles. Goes up in there. Hey! Who's in there? These are all pine, I mean, cactus needles. I don't want to get all full of them, but that cave goes back in there. It goes up. Up in there. Let's see. Oh, it's dark. I can't whistle. Hey! Hey. I didn't bring my... I didn't bring my light. Can't hear nothing, though. That was deep. But these are little cactus things from muskrats and chipmunks. They put them in there so you don't, so other animals don't crawl up in there and hurt their feet on the little prickeries. There's a whole family living up in there. I bet. Little muskrats. Don't see any other signs of like a mountain lion or anything. So 
All right. Okay. Okay. This one, this one just a crack. Looked like a bigger cave, but just a crack. It's up there, everybody come down so I get a film of it. This one's just a crack in there. Right here. It's the little. But there's a little bit of mouse poop in there. That's kind of cool because it has a another entrance right here. Yeah, you know, little baby cave. Okay, okay. Up on this hill, we're almost down to the bottom here. There's a bunch of caves that look interesting. Like, see that one right there, that, right in the front? Where is it? Right there. Right in the middle. That one is deep. You can barely. And then, if you go right there, that one is, looks deep. They're up on the hill though. But over here, there is a capital M. Oops, I'm right down lower. Focus. What's the matter with it? Camera won't focus. And it says there's an M cave right there. Let's see if I put it out here. Right there. See that's maximum. That looks like an M. And it looks deep. But I got a storm coming in here. And I gotta get back. See those clouds? It's already started to sprinkle. We'll come back to this one and check it out. Okay. Okay. We're right up there in that canyon. Uh, coming down out of there, you might want to get four-wheel drive. Um, if it starts raining, it will be really um, A lot of steep rocks. But you can come down this road and you're on a ledge. And then you come out right here. There's a little uh, cut off kind of lookout point. There used to be a road going down into that wash. Um, one of these days I want to hike that wash because there's all kinds of rock.
as the road comes. here has a lot of little teeny holes in it. Blurry. Got little holes all through it. Down here, if you're a rock climber, this would be a good place to try out your skills. Throw a, an anchor up there and throw a rope down and see.
building is starting to spring down here. And, um, and then the other one, the other road comes out way up toward Alamo. So, so that's the sign. Now, if you go 